Springfield, WGEM. Thursday marks 82 years since the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, which brought the U.S. into World War II. People gathered at the Elks Lodge in Springfield to honor those who people died in and survived the attack. If you had freedom yesterday and if you and I have today and we expect it tomorrow, that freedom is tied to the sacrifices of December 7, 1941, said John Kerrigan, the Illinois World War II Veterans Memorial Board president. Lynn Schindel was one the people enjoying freedom at Thursday's ceremony. He has a special connection to the attack. His father survived it. He was an Army Air Corps cook at Hickam Field, which is located next to Pearl Harbor. Schindel said his father knew more than 30 people who died in the attack. Their memory is why Schindel thinks ceremonies like Thursdays are so important so future generations don't forget their sacrifice. If we don't keep it alive, who will, he asked rhetorically. Schindel said several schools used to invite him around Pearl Harbor Day to speak to students. They don't anymore. Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs Director Terry Prince agrees with Schindel. If people don't make an effort to keep their memory alive, they'll be forgotten. It is a date that will live in infamy for many. But as the years go on, we have to continue to tell that story to make sure that people know what happened day. Because life is moving so fast, a day which will live in infamy could be put in a bunch of different occasions but Pearl Harbor was indeed the day, Prince said. In total, more than 2,403 people died and more than 1,000 were wounded in the attack. Thursday's ceremony included a wreath laying, rifle salute and the playing of taps. Copyright 2023 WGEM. All rights reserved.